Hey there YouTubers, right in this video we're going to talk a little bit about the differences and similarities between these two motherboards. This isn't going to be all encompassing. This is kind of like a quick, hey let's get this done in six minutes kind of video. So, let's start, right? If you were looking at 10th uh, gen CPU, you have two choices, okay? So let's say we have this i9-10900F here. You could go H410 or H510, okay? Now, if I've already bought or I really want an i5-11400, uh, which is 11th gen, I've got one choice. I can only go to this, okay? Now, if I care about PCIe 4.0 graphics cards, I've only got one choice, okay? That's over here with the H510. What does that mean, though? I have to put an 11th gen chip in there. I cannot go with this one, okay? This guy is PCIe 3.0. If I were over here and I had a 10th gen chip, this would be PCIe 3.0 as well, okay? So, M.2s. Now, let's say I want an EVO 980 Pro. Where am I going to go? Well, you know what? If that is the big deal to you, go with the B560, H570, or Z590. It's not going to do you any good with this. You might as well have an EVO 970. Um, these guys are going to run at gen 3 speed okay that one and definitely this one now of course uh, we talked about CPUs LGA 1200 underneath this crappy CPU cooler is LGA 1200 as well a lot of similarities are the same okay you're gonna have HD audio HD audio size of the motherboards this is micro ATX that's mini ITX uh, you will be able to get both of those with either one of these you may be able to find um, you know, Mini ITX is usually the one that will come with the uh, built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, this motherboard does not have it, but uh, you know, if you were to get this, actually get this guy over here in an H510, you would be able to get it in Wi-Fi. Now, Ethernet ports, most of these are going to be one gigabyte, I believe. The one uh, I did see one that is 2.5 over here with the H410. They're all going to be. Uh, they should be one gigabyte, all right? Now, most likely you're only going to have one M.2. That one does, that one does. Two RAM slots, okay? So this is important. Uh, depend on your CPU and, you know, whether it's 10th or 11th gen. You could get, potentially with 11th gen, up to 300, 200 megahertz uh, on an overclock with your RAM over here, okay? Over here, you are set with a 10th gen. You can't get any faster than 2933 with something like an i9 or an i7. 2666 megahertz with an i5 or less. All right. All right. Since the days of H310, uh, they have gone with all 1x8s here at least. Okay. So 1x8 CPU power connector and another 1x8 with the, uh, the H410. 24 pin power connector. That's going to come from your power supply. Boom, both those have that. USB 3.0, that's going to come from your case. You see that here uh, as well as there. So uh, that's something that is trending where with the H310s, you didn't always see that. CMOS battery, of course, that's, you know, stable. There's the H is on the H510. And that's what it looks like on the Mini ITX for the H410. Connectors, you know, pretty much going to see... Uh, well, in this case, you're seeing everything, right? This is even better than uh, some of the stuff you see on, like, the Z590 I have. Look at all the uh, the graphics connectors. Uh, you've got the PS2, if you want to have that for keyboard and mouse. Not as many USB uh, 3.0s. There's uh, four USB 2.0s on here. So that aspect's a little disappointing. Uh, over here with the H410, of course, you can get quite a few video connectors as well and this has a USB 3.0 as well but this one actually has a better selection of uh, line outs for audio uh, of course if you bought that same version with the 510 you would also see that so a lot of pretty good uh, features but you know honestly is this even worth looking at um, when the B560 HDV that I have has better features than either one of these and does a lot more that's something you got to look at, folks. Uh, if you can find that thing for 78 bucks, it may be uh, a much better deal for you. Okay, so just because this, you know, the in the past, the 310s, the 410s, 
and the, you know you would expect the five tenths would be the cheapest motherboards not necessarily seeing that in the pricing uh, quality and you know uh, actual uh, characteristics of them and specs these are still the uh, the worst motherboards okay so um, if you're looking at this it's a, there's a specific reason you want this and uh, you know only you know that because I, I can't tell you that but uh, these are the main reasons that uh, you would you know pick these uh, pick between these and like I said if you're going 10 gen you've got a choice of either this or that but looking at the future you know you may want to head towards this or something better like a B560 or Z590 hey thanks for checking out my video I hope you got something out of it please like please subscribe thank you